Benito Mussolini, the man whose iron-fisted reign laid bare the inherent vulnerabilities of democracy. A pivotal figure of the 20th century, Mussolini's rise to power is a chilling reminder of how a democratic system can, paradoxically, give rise to a dictator. His story is a stark testament to the precarious balance between governance and tyranny, liberty and oppression, democracy and despotism. As we delve into the life and impact of this infamous dictator, let's journey back in time to understand how this paradox came to be. Born in 1883 to a blacksmith and a schoolteacher, Mussolini's humble beginnings belied the tumultuous path he would later tread. Benito Mussolini spent his early years in a small provincial town in Italy. His father, Alessandro Mussolini, was a fervent socialist who instilled in young Benito a passion for revolutionary politics. On the other hand, his mother, Rosa Maltoni, was a dedicated schoolteacher who valued education highly. Growing up, Benito was a fiery and rebellious child, often getting into fights and challenging authority. His father's socialist beliefs greatly influenced him, shaping his political ideology from a young age. He was an ardent reader, devouring books on a variety of topics, notably political philosophy and military strategy. Mussolini also developed a keen interest in journalism, a trait that would serve him well in his later political career. His early life was a blend of intellectual curiosity, rebelliousness, and a deep-rooted sense of social justice, all of which would contribute to his political journey. From these early years, the seeds of Mussolini's future political career were sown. From a schoolteacher to a newspaper editor, Mussolini's path to power was far from straightforward. As we delve into Mussolini's political rise, we see a man who capitalized on the chaos of post-World War I Italy. During the war, Mussolini served in the army, but it was his role as an editor for a socialist newspaper that truly marked his entrance into the political arena. He used his platform to voice his support for the war, a stance that led to his expulsion from the Socialist Party. But this didn't deter him. Instead, he founded his own political movement, the Fascist Party, in 1919. The Fascist Party was a response to the social unrest and economic hardships that plagued Italy after the Great War. Mussolini promised stability and strength, a message that resonated with many Italians who were disillusioned with their government's inability to restore order. He skillfully manipulated people's fears and discontent, promising a return to national greatness. In the early 1920s, Mussolini and his blackshirt paramilitary forces used intimidation and violence to suppress political opponents. This, coupled with the king's refusal to declare martial law to counter Mussolini's march on Rome in 1922, led to Mussolini's appointment as prime minister. Once in power, Mussolini began to dismantle the democratic system from within. He passed laws that allowed him to rule by decree, effectively eliminating the need for parliamentary approval. He also suppressed the free press, curtailed civil liberties, and established a one-party rule. Mussolini's rise to power is a stark reminder of how fragile democracy can be. It demonstrates how charismatic leaders can exploit crises to consolidate their power and subvert democratic institutions. It is a testament to the importance of maintaining and defending democratic values in the face of adversity. In 1922, Mussolini stood at the helm of Italy, having ascended through the ranks of a democracy he would soon dismantle. It's a chilling reminder that democracy is not a given, but something that must be actively protected and nurtured. With Mussolini in power, the democratic pillars of Italy began to crumble. The iron-fisted rule of Benito Mussolini was marked by a deliberate and systematic dismantling of democratic institutions. One of his first actions was to establish a one-party rule, effectively turning Italy into a dictatorship. The National Fascist Party under Mussolini's command was the only party allowed to exist. All other political parties were outlawed, and opposition voices were ruthlessly suppressed. This move not only consolidated Mussolini's power, but also stripped the Italian people of their right to a pluralistic political system, a cornerstone of any democracy. But Mussolini didn't stop there. He understood the power of the media in shaping public opinion and controlling the narrative. So he seized control of the press, radio, and film industries, using these platforms to propagate his fascist ideologies. The media was no longer a watchdog over the government, it had become its mouthpiece. The Italian people were fed a steady diet of propaganda, painting Mussolini as a strong, decisive leader, and fascism as the way forward. Among the most significant shifts under Mussolini's rule was the introduction of the corporate state. 
This concept entailed the organization of the economy by major sectors, known as corporations, each under the control of the state. It was a move away from the free market, and one that further extended Mussolini's control over Italy's economic life. The corporate state had profound implications for Italian society. It curtailed individual freedoms and curbed entrepreneurial spirit. Businesses were no longer free to operate as they saw fit. They had to toe the line drawn by the state. Workers' rights were also severely compromised, as trade unions were replaced by state-controlled syndicates. In essence, Mussolini's reign saw the demise of democratic principles and values in Italy. The freedoms and rights that the people once enjoyed were replaced by a regime of control and suppression. The checks and balances that a democracy offers were absent, replaced by the unchallenged rule of one man. By the mid-1930s, Mussolini had transformed Italy into a totalitarian state, a stark contrast to the democracy it once was. Mussolini's reign serves as a poignant reminder of democracy's fragility. Delving into the impact of Benito Mussolini on democracy, we must first acknowledge the stark reality of his rule. Mussolini's regime was a glaring example of how democratic systems can be manipulated, exploited and ultimately toppled. His rise to power was not a coup, but a gradual erosion of democratic principles, a slow dance with authoritarianism that eventually consumed Italy's democratic ideals. Mussolini's regime demonstrated the potential for a charismatic leader to exploit the fears and insecurities of the people, using populist rhetoric to consolidate power. His rule was marked by stringent control over the press, suppression of political dissent, and the manipulation of public sentiment. But it's not just in these overt acts of authoritarianism that we see Mussolini's impact. His regime also illustrated how democracy can be undermined from within through the erosion of checks and balances, the concentration of power, and the manipulation of democratic institutions. And yet, within this bleak portrait, there are lessons to be learned. Mussolini's Italy serves as a warning, a cautionary tale of what can happen when democratic principles are compromised, when the pursuit of power takes precedence over the welfare of the people. Modern democracies can learn much from this dark chapter in history. It underscores the importance of maintaining a robust system of checks and balances to prevent the concentration of power. It highlights the need for a free and independent press that can hold those in power accountable. And it reminds us of the perils of populist rhetoric that exploits fear and division for political gain. But perhaps the most crucial lesson is this. Democracy is not a given. It is not an end state, but a process. One that requires constant vigilance, active participation, and a commitment to the principles of freedom, equality, and justice. Mussolini's impact on democracy was profound and far-reaching, but it is not a legacy to be feared. Instead, it is a call to action, a reminder of the work that lies ahead in our pursuit of a truly democratic society. It is a testament to the resilience of democratic ideals, even in the face of authoritarianism. Mussolini may be long gone, but the echoes of his regime continue to reverberate, reminding us of the constant vigilance required to safeguard our democracies.